So, what is your practice? If you are getting a lot of questions how Russian students and researchers can actually make silicon chips based on RTL design. I mean, they can do it in FPGA, but they also want to have real ASIC and real ASIC experience. So please explain how your practice works and how you can help. So your practice is a uh, European project, fund, uh, funded project uh, for specifically for universities. We support today 650 universities in Europe, uh, and also of that, of course, a uh, part in Russia. So through this uh, Europe practice project, uh, the universities can buy at a low cost the software tools like Cadence, Synopsis, Mentor, etc. for uh, easy design. In addition, what we offer is also prototyping, low-cost prototyping of the fabricated or fabrication of prototype designs. So universities, together with the tools, can design chips and have them fabricated for a few thousand euros per prototype. Excellent. So uh, can you tell the procedure? So uh, suppose I'm a graduate student who just created some prototype of multi-core MIPS based uh, system on chip design. Uh, what should I do to get a chip in my hands? Okay. So through this Euro practice uh, project, uh, the university can become a member. Yeah. The cost for membership is about 1,000 euro per year. And then they can buy, yeah, first of all, you have to buy the software tools, either Cadence, Synopsis or Mentor. Uh, this is for a few thousand, you can buy the whole suite. Yeah? And then, in addition, uh, under a non-disclosure agreement, you can easily get access to the PDKs, to the standard cell libraries, of the technology that you choose that we support. We support technologies from uh, 0.7 micron down to 28 nanometer, uh, as well as from UMC, as TSMC, as Global Foundries. So you can get from us then free of charge the design kits, including the libraries, to design your chip. Once the GDS is ready, we take in your GDS, we send it to the foundry for fabrication through the multi-project reference. Excellent. Thank you very much. So what is uh, your opinion about recent, recent Russian microprocessor, the first 28 nanometer Baikal chip made in Russia? Well, that is uh, very promising for the future. We see now that uh, since a long time also, uh, as well as universities, but also companies, take up the new opportunities in, in uh, let's say, the 28 nanometer. And this is indeed the first time that uh, a company in Europe, in, uh, in Russia, is making use of that technology for fabricating a product in 28 nanometer. Thank you.